Hello there everyone, this is Nick Nevin, the Witch of Seacliff, and I'm about to show you how to repair candles and a jar for a breakup spell. So if you don't like negative witchcraft, you better turn off the video. I will not show you the actual spell. I'm going to show you how to dress the candles and the ingredients to use because when I do the actual spell work, I need all my energy, I need to get angry, I need to curse, and it's very unpleasant. So I'd rather not do all that on camera, but I can get things rolling and show you how it's done if you would like to do this yourself. Now I already started this video once and my camera just went off so I'll just tell you some of the things that I did first. I have a jar here and inside the jar I already put lemon juice, a rotted lime, the juice of a rotted lime. I put red pepper and the petition that I wrote, I had put banishing oil on. So just so you know, this is already activated and started. Now, I also have here two figure candles, a male and a female, to represent the people that need to be broken up. Now, I don't take breakup spells usually. I don't take them lightly. There has to be a very good reason for me to break up a couple um, because it, I don't think it's fair to mess with people's uh, relationships but I won't give you the reason for it because this is for a client but just so you know this male the p male in the relationship is a very nasty person causing a lot of havoc not good to the woman and not good to her family and he really needs to go he's a bad seed and he needs to go so i agreed to do the spell for my client now this is a double spell like i said there's a jar spell going on that will be going on and the candle burning now you can use these black figure candles and what i do is with my knife that I only use for witchcraft. I carve in his name going up the back and I carve in his birth date and I do the same for her. Now she's not going to get any harm done to her. She's actually going to get protection on her from him. So but first you need to when you're doing when you're working with figure candles you need to baptize them you need to cleanse them first i cleanse them after you buy them from the store i cleanse them with the murray and lanham florida water and this you can buy online or at a botanica and it, it's cleansing and it smells great so if you ever want to get that you can order that and um, before I begin a ritual, I take a spirit, um, I took a spirit shower, <laughs> not a spirit bath today, but a spirit shower. And that means I use um, special soap for ritual. And I use some of this Florida water on myself, but be careful, it, you can be allergic to it. There is alcohol in it. Um, so test it on your skin before dousing yourself with this. But I use this to cleanse with, I use a special soap, and I actually pray in the shower for protection. Um, I, I ask the goddess to protect me. I tell her what I'm about to do. So as I'm preparing myself, the spell is already beginning. And even when I purchased the items, I purchased uh, a lot of the ingredients today, even as I'm purchasing, I, uh, I am in sort of meditative state as I shop and, and get my things together and each item is selected 
and uh, I tell uh, my spirits, I also ask my spirits to help, and I tell my spirits what each ingredient is being used for. So the spell begins way before. Um, I also protect myself with, I have homemade fiery wall, wall of protection oil. So I put some of that, I cleanse my hands first with the, uh, with the Florida water. Before I start working, um, I cleanse the space, I cleanse my tools with this. I have made a sacred circle. This is a sacred space right here for spell work and everything is cleansed before I use it. So I, to begin with, I cleanse my hands and then I put the fiery wall of protection oil, just a little bit in the palm of my hands. And to activate the oil, um, all you need to do is rub and clap and I do this nine times and okay let me put the cap on this because I just spilt some and this stuff is very expensive um, this is banishing oil it's Anna Riva which is pricey for a tiny bottle but I use her banishing oil I usually make my own but I didn't have any so I bought some the fiery wall of protection oil I make myself. But let me just cap those. And since I just spilt the banishing oil all over, I'm going to use some of that oil. And I have it on my fingers. And again, you activate by rubbing vigorously and clapping. Okay, and I anoint the candle to banish, and I say his name, to banish him from a relationship with, and I say the name to myself. So I get that oil all over him, and it's all over the tray, so that's good on his side. I'll just rub more on it. And um, I've asked the goddess to bless the oils already. So you can do it one at a time, blessing the oil in front of the goddess and then putting it on one at a time, or you can bless all your ingredients first. Uh, I also made a hole in the bottom of each candle. I carved a little hole, I don't know if you can see it. But, and I put a petition that has his name and birth date on it. And now it has banishing oil on it as well. And I'm gonna sit him right in the banishing oil that's spilt. And he's a strong person, so he needs a lot of this oil. I'm also using some carnations here that have died and carnations are a witch's flower for witch power. And I have that all along the tray here. I'm, I'm burning some incense here. It's loose incense and it's dark arts incense. And so that is also going into the spell. I also have here some dragon's blood incense. And I'm going to use that just to banish him. Banish him and in a counterclockwise motion, I get the dragon's blood so that I have command over him now, over his head, over his mind that he will now fight with his girlfriend. He will not be happy with her. He will want to break up with her. These two people won't like each other anymore. They will despise one another. You will despise her now and want to get away from her now. And you just circle 
that incense all over the candle. And you can be very rough when doing a banishing on someone. Um, you can be rough with them. You're not to go near her anymore. You're not to love her anymore. You don't deserve her. You don't respect her or her, or her family. So you do those kind of things to the figure candle because the figure candle is a surrogate for and I'm saying this person's name and you put your hands and your energy and you pour out your energy your intentions for him to get out of her life now you can dress him with some banishing more banishing oils like I said, I usually make mine. I didn't have some of the oils that I wanted to use, so I'm gonna use some scorpion oil on him as well. Same thing, pour a little bit out. And what the scorpion oil does is to sting him. very unhappy in your relationship now. May you feel betrayed, may you feel disrespected so that you want to get out of this relationship with her now. Three claps, you can do five hits. I like to use five when hitting. <laughs> five is um, and numerology is a number that represents struggle, strife. So I want him to have struggle and strife in his life so that he's upset, so that he wants to get out of his relationship because he doesn't deserve a good woman. I want her to turn her back on him, but I want him to turn his back on her. Okay, now the next thing I will do is, I'm not gonna roll him in herbs, so I'm gonna put the herbs into the jar. I'm going to pin him now, and I have some three black pins. So I'm just going to take each pin. There's the black pin. And right on his forehead. I want him to feel negative about his relationship with. I want him to want to be out of the relationship with. Okay, so the first one goes in his forehead. The second pin is going to go into his heart. I want you to be very unhappy in your relationship with now. Feel like you want to get out of this relationship. You don't want to be with her anymore. You don't like her even anymore. And the last pin, I'm going to put it where it counts, right in the groin. You don't desire her anymore. You don't want to have sex with her. You are dissatisfied sexually and want to be out of this relationship now from and so he's pinned three times you can do more if you like i'm gonna get a paper towel here because i got too much of this oil on my hands okay next he's he is dressed. Now I will cleanse my hands again and I'm going to work on her, but in a good way. That's why I'm cleansing my hands. And I'm gonna just wipe my hands off to get off the negativity. And I'm just going to put thoughts in her head 
that she wants to be away from him. So I have her, she's already been cleansed and blessed as a surrogate for the person and her name is carved on the back and her birth date. And the petition also says that she would like to end the relationship with him. And I'm just going to empower her with the fiery wool of protection oil. I like to shake it up, get the energy going again, put some in my hands. Let me just put her down for a moment. And again, activate. So, this person, her name is, will be protected from you want him out of your life, you're not attracted to him, you don't love him. You can do better, you can find a better man, and you will find a better man, and the goddess will bless you with a beautiful relationship with a wonderful person now. And you will be protected from, you don't want to see him anymore. You don't want to know him, you're not attracted to him, you're not attracted to him sexually, you don't like the things that he says, you don't like how he acts, you don't like how he treats you. You now realize he's not good for you. He's never been good for you. He doesn't respect you. He doesn't respect your family. And another person is coming into your life, a better person, a wonderful person is coming towards you. And I treat her better, I treat her gently. I'm holding her firmly though to get my energy on her. And I turn her back to him. So, the candles are dressed now. I can light them, and I'm going to do more work on these candles, so I'm not gonna light them right now. But you can light them and let them burn out, and that could be a good enough banishing um, breakup spell right there. But of course, I like to overdo things, <laughs> and I like to really get into the work, and so after, I do this video, I'll be really going at um, their minds, going at her first, telling her she doesn't need him, she doesn't want him anymore, and going at him, saying he wants to break up, he has to get out of this relationship, he can't stand being in this relationship anymore. And so, for the jar, I have the petition in there, and I'm going to just do some herbs and roots into the jar. I have here some calamus root. And calamus is for domination. Um, it's great for separation. So I ask the goddess to bless. Please bless these herbs. I hold them in my hands and show the goddess. Bless these herbs that they will be herbs to dominate. These herbs will dominate so that I have control over the situation so that I can put the idea, the thought into both of their minds that they want to split up, that this is not a good relationship. And I just put that in the jar. And I do the same. Um, I have some rue here. So in a little jar, I have some rue and rue is a good breakup, good breakup root, I guess it is. No, they're twigs. So I ask the goddess to bless this rue to make these two separate. He's not good for her. She needs to get away from him. And I put those into the jar. And then I also have garlic, and it's the same thing. I've already blessed all the, the ingredients 
by the goddess, so I'm not going to bore you with that, but I'm just going to put my energy into that. Close the garlic in my hands and put the garlic in there because garlic's good for protection, but it's good for making relationships stink. And this relationship really stinks. Now, a really great thing too is um, these big chili peppers. You can get energy going with the chili peppers and getting really angry at him and doing all kinds of things over his surrogate candle. And then you just put one of the peppers right into the drawer. Hopefully it fits. It does. What else do I have here? I have so many things. Okay, the other thing I have, I have this homemade heat uh, oil. So I'll just stir this up. There's a lot of nasty things in there. Maybe another time I'll tell you what's in there. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you everything that I pour that in there. And get all the sludge out and put that in there. Oh my God, that stinks. Okay. And I also have broken glass. This is actually a broken wine glass. So I think that's appropriate for a love relationship to put an end. No more celebration for these two. They fight, they argue, they don't like each other anymore. Maybe they argue, maybe they fight, maybe they split up. May she get away from him. May she not be sad over him. And get away from him immediately and I'm also something else you don't have to if you don't have some of the ingredients you can just use some of the ingredients I have and I'm going to use some lemon pepper which is great it's a combination of lemon and pepper and so I'm pouring that into the jar so they get irritated with each other and soured their relationship and I'm also going to put coffee grinds uh, in the jar so they are irritated with each other and this will make the spell go faster as well. Okay, what else do I have here? Oh, my favorite. If you've never used them, this has been sitting in some herbs, a chicken foot, to go at him, to claw him, to scratch him, to irritate him, to get away from her, get away from her, get away from her, get away from her. And I throw the chicken foot into the jar. And for the final portion, this is a very nasty, destructive potion that I made. It has fish oil, vinegar, um, moldy ingredients. It's real nasty stuff. It smells terrible. And I'll pour that into the jar. It also has hot pepper in there too to really make them irritated with each other and argue and fight so that they split up. And I'm just going to cleanse my hands now because I don't want this nastiness on me. You don't want this on your relationship when you're doing this kind of spell work. You don't want to fight with your significant other. So you always try to be very clean as you're doing this so you don't touch other stuff after you've touched all this nastiness. And then you can put more things in there. You can put whatever kind of nastiness you think will work. And this is your jar of destruction, of separation. And you shake it 
And I'm going to do this spell for nine nights, and every day I will shake that. I'm going to burn out the candles. I'm going to do more ritual work on it. Like I said, I have to get nasty with this. And then what I will do, you burn the two candles next to the jar, and I will also burn, you can use black, or you can use purple for domination, and burn a candle on top of the jar. And that's why I like to use jars, because they have a metal lid, and you just let it burn through. Um, you can do that on the last night after shaking it, putting your energy into it. Keep focusing your intentions for the breakup. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and I will talk to you soon, everyone. Bye-bye.